When you're a part of the biggest TV show in a generation, the expectations are high for what you do next. The cast of Friends, in particular, moved on to roles both big and small. Following a series of appearances in short-lived television shows, Jennifer Aniston landed the life-changing role of Rachel Green. She recalled during an August 2023 interview with WSJ Magazine, I really wanted it really badly, and I walked into the audition, and there were so many girls, and I remember just thinking, oh boy. Initially introduced as a runaway bride who was unprepared for adulthood, Green soon became a fan favorite, thanks in part to her on-and-off romance with David Schwimmer's Ross Geller, whom she ended up with in the series finale. Since wrapping up the show, Aniston has gone on to expand her resume, racking up credits in movies like Horrible Bosses, We're the Millers, and Murder Mystery. In 2019, she made a highly anticipated return to television, starring opposite her friend's on-screen sister, Reese Witherspoon, in the Apple TV Plus show The Morning Show. For her performance, Aniston has earned two Golden Globe nominations and a Primetime Emmy nod. Outside of work, the star's personal life has garnered just as much media attention, much to Aniston's frustration. After Aniston's five-year marriage to Brad Pitt infamously hit the rocks in 2005, she married actor-writer Justin Thoreau in 2015. The couple sadly announced their separation in 2018. She later told The Hollywood Reporter about her frustration with celebrity media, saying, "...I used to take it all very personally, the pregnancy rumors and the whole, oh, she chose career over kids assumption. They don't know anything, and it was really hurtful and just nasty." On Friends, Lisa Kudrow portrayed the eccentric yet beloved Phoebe Buffay. But while the show might have undeniably shot her into the limelight, Kudrow's career has evolved even more since her time on the NBC sitcom. In 2005 and again in 2014, Kudrow played the role of Valerie Cherish in The Comeback, an HBO show she wrote, executive produced, and co-created alongside Michael Patrick King. For her work on both seasons, the multi-talent earned Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. The Comeback, however, is not Kudrow's only noteworthy creation over the years. In 2008, she doubled as a cast member and co-creator of Web Therapy, an award-winning online series championing online therapy as a new type of therapy. After the first season, it crossed over to television, airing on Showtime for an additional three seasons before being canceled in 2015. In film, the stellar actor has also ramped up her resume, with credits in numerous movies, including Neighbors, P.S. I Love You, and 2016's psychological thriller The Girl on the Train. In 2021, Kudrow, alongside her lead co-stars, came together for HBO Max's Friends, The Reunion, during which she and Lady Gaga duetted on a rendition of Phoebe's iconic song, Smelly Cat. Courtney Cox won the hearts of many with her impeccable portrayal of the uber-organized Monica Geller. Monica was Ross's sister, a talented chef, and the eventual love interest of Matthew Perry's Chandler Bing. She next landed another starring role as Jules Cobb in Cougar Town between 2009 and 2015. The only lead actor from Friends who didn't land an Emmy nomination during the show's run went on to bag her first Golden Globe nomination for her portrayal of Jules Cobb. She told Howard Stern that the Emmy snubs definitely hurt before expanding on her Golden Globes nomination, saying, "...I wanted my peers to respect me, and I know that the Golden Globes is not your peers necessarily, but it's like, ah, it took a little of the sting out." Cox has also tried her hand at behind-the-camera work. In addition to producing several projects and directing some episodes of Cougar Town, she added the 2012 TV movie Tall Hot Blonde to her director resume before making her feature directorial debut with 2014's Just Before I Go. She spoke about Tall Hot Blonde with Entertainment Weekly, saying, "...it felt just perfect for my personality. I felt so passionate about it. So after doing that, I felt I had to pick up another feature. It told a story, but it was just something I had to direct after I did this." Meanwhile, Cox, who eventually earned an Emmy nomination as an executive producer of Friends The Reunion, has continued to reprise her role as fan favorite Gail Weathers in the Scream franchise, including 2023's Scream 6. Before landing his role as actor Joey Tribbiani on Friends, Matt LeBlanc himself was a struggling actor trying to find his footing in Hollywood. By the time the show wrapped up in 2004, LeBlanc had become a fan favorite. Maybe if I wasn't going commando. <laughs> He was such a hit that NBC soon released Joey, a spin-off show that saw the star reprise his role as Tribbiani. Unfortunately, Joey lasted only two seasons due to low ratings, with the network eventually pulling the plug in 2006. But not even this bump in the road was enough to deter LeBlanc's success in Hollywood.
Following a five-year hiatus, LeBlanc returned to television to play a fictionalized version of himself in the Showtime comedy series episodes. In 2012, LeBlanc won his first Golden Globe Award, a feat he had difficulty accepting, telling ABC News, "...I'm very flattered, but to me, it's just so bizarre. I'm just a guy. You take pride in your work, and you work hard, and you learn from your mistakes, and you move on." Off the screen, the actor's life has been just as eventful. In 2003, LeBlanc married Melissa McKnight, with whom he later welcomed daughter Marina Pearl LeBlanc in 2004. Sadly, the Paris union was short-lived, as the actor filed for divorce in 2006. The lovesick star then went on to have a long-term relationship with Andrea Anders, before reportedly breaking up in 2015. Friends would never have been the same without Ross Geller. Similarly, we can't think of anyone who would have brought Ross Geller to life like David Schwimmer did. Schwimmer told The Guardian in 2020, "...that 10-year run with that particular cast, that group of writers, those directors, it was an amazing time professionally, but mostly creatively." Schwimmer tried his hand at directing a total of 10 episodes during this time and would later take what he'd learned a step further upon wrapping Friends, serving as director and executive producer of Nevermind Nirvana, a sitcom that sadly never made it past the pilot episode, and making his feature directorial debut with the 2007 movie Run Fatboy Run. He revealed to SFGate, "...the great gift that the show gave all of us is the financial freedom to kind of only choose something that you are completely passionate about." Schwimmer has also continued acting, of course, with credits in several projects, including the three installments of the Madagascar franchise, where he loaned his voice to Melman the Giraffe. On television, Schwimmer ramped up his resume with his Emmy-nominated performance as Robert Kardashian in The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, a 2016 show chronicling O.J. Simpson's 1995 murder trial. On the personal side of things, Schwimmer's known to keep his private life just that. But what we do know is that, six years after Friends concluded, he married British artist Zoe Buckman. In 2017, Schwimmer and Buckman divorced, but they've since continued to amicably co-parent their daughter Cleo. Matthew Perry gained international recognition for his beloved performance as Chandler Bing, not to mention a 2002 Emmy nomination for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy. The Friends star would then consecutively pick up Emmy nods for his guest work on the political drama The West Wing. Perry also found success in film, most notably appearing in 1997's Fool's Rush In and the 2019 comedy Seventeen Again. While his acting career thrived, Perry openly struggled with drug and alcohol addiction. While promoting his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, he admitted that by the time he was 18, he was drinking daily. His recovery from a 1997 jet ski accident would kickstart an addiction to Vicodin. Speaking with people, he said, "...I didn't know how to stop. The disease and the addiction is progressive, so it gets worse and worse as you grow older." He would spend millions on his journey toward attaining sobriety over the next decades, which included multiple rehab and sober living facility stays and resulted in some serious health scares. This included a near-fatal gastrointestinal perforation in 2018. His journey with addiction led Perry to continually advocate for and help others struggling with their own sobriety journeys. In October 2023, Perry tragically died at age 54 from an apparent drowning at his Los Angeles home. The Matthew Perry Foundation was posthumously fostered to continue his work supporting those struggling with addiction. Before becoming an MCU star, Paul Rudd was known for his role as Mike Hannigan, boyfriend turned husband of the quirky Phoebe Buffay on Friends. Though he came on the show much later, Rudd's role as one of the lead's love interests earned him a recurring role till the end. During an appearance on The Heart in 2023, he said, "...it was really fun and they were great. The whole thing was a bit surreal, I must say, you know, to be a part of that. Because I came on really at the end." Since wrapping up the show, Rudd has enjoyed an upward career trajectory, most notably landing the role of Ant-Man for Marvel. In July 2015, the New Jersey native was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He gushed, "...I remember being a kid and walking this boulevard and reading the names and thinking about what so many other millions of people thought about, which is, you know, who's that?" The fact that millions of people are going to be able to now see me and ask that same question for time immemorial is humbling beyond belief. In 2019, Rudd took up the lead role in Living With Yourself a Netflix series highlighting the life of a man who discovered he had been cloned. For his performance on the show, Rudd earned a Golden Globe nomination. Between 1994 and 2004, James Michael Tyler played Gunther on Friends. His character, the manager of a coffee shop called Central Perk, was best known for his unrequited crush on Rachel Green, who ended up with Ross Geller on the show. Tyler once told Today, "...the best thing about working with the other actors on the show was the chemistry between them. The professionalism was so… just almost indescribable." 
Though he had a slow career progression, Tyler kept his connection to friends alive, often finding ways to honor his character. In celebration of the show's 15th anniversary in 2009, Tyler opened a temporary Central Perk pop-up where fans went in for coffee and checked out with memorabilia from the show. In his personal life, however, Tyler underwent a lot of changes, including his 2014 divorce from Barbara Chadzi, whom he married in 1995. Reportedly, Chadzi and Tyler were separated for 11 years before the actor filed for divorce. Three years later, Tyler gave Love a second chance when he married Jennifer Karn, with whom he enjoyed a blissful life until his tragic death in 2021. On October 24, 2021, Tyler died after suffering complications from a previous prostate cancer diagnosis. Tyler's manager, Tony Benson, wrote in a statement, "...the world knew him as Gunther, the seventh friend, from the hit series Friends, but Michael's loved ones knew him as an actor, musician, cancer awareness advocate, and loving husband." Starting in the first season, Jane Sibbett played the role of Carol Willick, Ross Geller's ex-wife, who left him after coming out as a lesbian. Though she was contacted for the role only a few days after having her son, Sibbett was convinced to go for it after watching David Schwimmer in the pilot episode. She recalled to Today, "...I'd never seen anybody do comedy like that. He literally took the longest take with his comedy. I just thought, oh my goodness, I have to work with this man. He is brilliant." Through her seven seasons on the show, fans watched Ross and Willick's relationship evolve as they co-parented their son, Ben Geller, who was born shortly after the pair split in season one. Since leaving Friends, Sibbett has appeared in several projects, ranging from television shows like Once and Again to holiday flicks like A Merry Little Christmas. Most recently, Sibbett appeared in 2019's A Date by Christmas Eve, as well as 2021's List of a Lifetime. Outside of her professional life, Sibbett's personal life has also taken a turn since appearing on Friends. The actor, who got married to TV producer Carl Fink in 1992, got divorced in 2016, and has since lived a relatively quiet life. Following Carol Willick's divorce from Ross Geller, she went on to have a romantic relationship with Susan Bunch, portrayed by Jessica Hecht. While Ross and Susan initially struggled to get along, things got better between them following Ben Geller's birth. Speaking about her co-star, Hecht told Today, "...I loved working with David Schwimmer. He's really smart about bits. He understands how to make all the funny stuff more funny." Hecht lauded the show for promoting gay marriage, adding that it was profoundly ahead of its time. Following her recurring role on the sitcom, Hecht has since gone on to ramp up her resume, racking up credits in shows including Breaking Bad, Red Oaks, and The Sinner. Similarly, Hecht has kept busy in film, appearing in movies like A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood and Whatever Works. Most recently, Hecht earned a Tony nomination for Best Actress in a Play for Summer 1976. But despite the appeal of living in the spotlight, Hecht once admitted to wanting a life free of fame and Hollywood stardom. She told the Jewish Daily Forward in 2013, "...being a star struck me as always having limitations. You are always with what you did in the one show that made you a star. I don't mean to degrade that. It has its perks, but I don't want to be known always for that one thing that made me a star." Before his happily ever after fairy tale with Monica Geller, Matthew Perry's Chandler Bing was involved with a few women on the show, one of whom was Janice Goralnik, played by Maggie Wheeler. <laughs> Throughout the show's ten seasons, Chandler and Janice had an on-and-off relationship before eventually deciding their love was doomed. Still, despite having only appeared in 19 episodes, Wheeler couldn't have enjoyed her time on the sitcom more. She explained to Digital Spy, "...I really loved working on that show. I have many high moments. That birth episode, the last episode, coming on the stage after sleeping with Ross, so many great and high moments." Post Friends, Wheeler continued in television, appearing in shows like Californication and 2009's Archer, where she had a recurring role as Trinette Magoon. Following Perry's death in October 2023, Wheeler took to social media, paying a heartwarming tribute to her former on-screen lover, saying, "...what a loss. The world will miss you, Matthew Perry. The joy you brought to so many in your too short lifetime will live on. I feel so very blessed by every creative moment we shared." Monica and Chandler might have had the ultimate love story, but before that were some other great loves. Shortly after first meeting in season two, Dr. Richard Burke, played by Tom Selleck, struck up a romantic relationship with Monica despite the 21-year age gap between them. But the pair's romance was short-lived as they soon discovered they wanted different things. Between 1996 and 2000, Selleck appeared in a total of 10 episodes of Friends, making him one of the show's guest stars with the most appearances. Since leaving the show, Selleck has kept busy, appearing in movies like Crossfire Trail and 2004's Ike Countdown to D-Day. 
Most notably, in 2010, Selleck landed the lead role of Frank Reagan in the CBS procedural Blue Bloods. When he is not in front of the camera, Selleck enjoys a quiet life on his ranch. He told Good Housekeeping in 2007, I live on a 63-acre avocado ranch, so I like to get outside and work on the farm, from fixing roads to clearing brush. I hate going to the gym, so sweating outdoors sure beats sitting on a stationary bike staring at my navel, and I work cheaper than anyone I could hire to do it. Selleck has also faced his fair share of legal issues since his time on Friends. In 2015, the actor was sued for allegedly stealing 1.4 million gallons of water for his farm. As reported by The Guardian, the case was eventually settled for $21,000. Throughout the show's 10 seasons, June Gable played the role of Estelle Leonard, Joey Tribbiani's talent agent. Joey, have you ever seen me ecstatic? No. Oh. Well, here it is. <laughs> While she might not have been one of the lead cast members, Gable wasn't any less impressed with the show. She told Wealth Simple in 2021, "...you have to understand what a phenomenon that show was. All six of those people, very nice people, became some of the most famous people anywhere on Earth, and anyone associated with that is going to be touched by it." Following her time on Friends, Gable retired from acting, a decision inspired by a loved one's ill health. She told the outlet, "...as soon as Friends ended, I retired. The man I love was very ill, and I wanted to be able to take care of him." But while she retired from television, the veteran actor maintained her career on Broadway, appearing in several productions throughout the years. In an interview with Ain't Broadway Grand, she explained, "...when Friends ended, I decided to come back and focus on theater." As for how she survives post-retirement, Gable credits the Screen Actors Guild as the reason for her great life. She told Wealth Simple, "...when I was young, I paid dues to the union. I've never done a non-union job. I get three pensions now, and I'll tell you what, that is a great blessing. Boy, those unions are fabulous!"